So I get asked, is kombucha really a mushroom? No, it is not. Um, maybe at the most it, it could be called a fungi or a type of fungi. I'm a type of fungi. Um, but uh, again, you could call it a kombucha mushroom. We, we, have, we, we refer to it sometimes on our site as, a, as mushroom tea, mainly because that's how other people refer to it. So if you're at a party and someone says, oh, this kombucha mushroom tea is awesome, don't like take the bottle and you know, spill it on them and say, it's not really a mushroom. Um, but let's talk about how it got its name then. How did, how did kombucha turn into mushroom, okay? Well, the theory is, the story goes like this, uh, in Japan, they were brewing something with seaweed, and kombu actually means seaweed in Japan, and cha means tea. So it was originally called seaweed tea. Right, and they were using seaweed. They weren't, you know, it wasn't kombucha, um, but a culture came about. You know, when, something to keep in mind. There's lots of things you could ferment that will form a culture. All right, um, but not necessarily makes it kombucha. Makes sense. You could a mother of vinegar forms a culture. Um, you have um, sourdough starters. Wine um, uses cultures and things like that. So. Eventually what happened was at the same time people were also doing kombucha tea. They saw the culture So hey, I'm looking at the seaweed culture that we called kombucha and I'm looking at this kombucha culture and I'm just going to label it kombucha So there you go in addition to that to make things even more confusing if you ever look at a kombucha scoby or kombucha culture kind of thing does look like a cap of let's say a portobello mushroom so uh, again, hopefully that answers your question, is kombucha a mushroom?